Hello, I'm Jenny with Home Comfort Care and today I'm going to show you how to clean a living room. So living rooms can be a little bit easier most of the time, but I just want to make sure we get the basics down for the homes that we clean. So the biggest thing in a living room is to make sure you pick up any belongings that are left out and to, you know, stack them to the side so it looks like it's been tidied up. Um, the next best thing is to make sure you've got your dust rag. Um, a little bit of polish, but please be careful with the polish and make sure the client wants you to use it. There are some clients that don't, so make sure you know about that. If we do use the polish, I always polish my rag just a little bit and then go ahead and dust. So if you're dusting, let me turn around, if you're dusting a little cabinet like this, make sure that you take off any little trinkets first and set them aside carefully and then make sure you dust the whole entire shelf. So pick up things, dust behind it, pick up little things that you can. If it's something valuable like a big clock or something um, that's glass, then go ahead and feel free to leave it and just dust around it the best you can. But make sure you get all the surfaces from the top all the way down to the bottom. On dark wood, um, it shows everything and a tiny bit of pledge is the best way to keep it um, from dust free but again make sure that it's on the CSA that you can use pledge and make sure you put all the little trinkets back the best you can if they get dusty and you know that you can dust them off if they're not something valuable that can break again be very careful go ahead and feel free to dust it off um, another thing I like to have in my bucket is the canned air that works really well for little trinkets it works really well for fake plants um, in the little cracks and corners, in the corners of little shelves that might have little sections up to the side. You can use your toothbrush or you can use, um, again, the canned air. So that's with the dusting. Um, a second thing to do in the living room, if it's specified on the CSA, is the blinds. That would be on the deep cleaning side of things. We don't do the blinds each and every time unless it's part of the maintenance. If it's part of the maintenance and you've already scrubbed them and you know they're good, you know, you can do your soft drag over the top and just get the dust off. If it's a job that requires lots of hard scrubbing with the blinds, they haven't been cleaned for a while, then that is where we get very, very detailed. Um, I start from the top and I'm going to dust all the way across every single blind from the top to the bottom, all the way across. It does take some time. It does take a lot of elbow grease but that's the best way to get blinds the best way. Um, you might have to use hot soapy water if they're really caked on there. Um, one thing we tell our clients is that if they're old and stained, we can't guarantee that they're gonna be completely brand new, but we will do our best. Um, another thing is the vacuuming. Um, make sure you watch the vacuum video so you can help us maintain vacuums at our clients if the vacuum's not working. Sometimes it's easy as, you know, clogged bottoms, and anyway, check the vacuum video. That's your best way for that. When I vacuum a home, I make sure I start on the outside of the room and vacuum my way out, leaving the cute little lines. Um, it looks the best to the client. They can see that it's been vacuumed really well, and it just leaves no extra dirt. Make sure if you need to take off um, any attachments, and do around the baseboards and edges. I like to check under couches and make sure that there's nothing stuck under there. And um, picture frames, if they've got picture frames on the wall, make sure you dust them off carefully. And again, I always like to look for sticky fingerprints on the walls, door handles, baseboards. Um, and that is how we do a living room.